We easily generate legal documents such as non-disclosure agreements using DocuGen and Monday.com. This is a board that represents NDAs and I have the details of each NDA in a separate line. If I click on this button, within seconds DocuGen will generate a PDF document of the NDA. DocuGen can also generate Word documents. What it does is it pulls information from the board and inserts it in the correct locations based on the template that you provide. So how did we do this? The first step is to make sure you have DocuGen installed on your Monday.com account. Go to the marketplace and search for DocuGen. Click on it. And if it's not already installed, you'll have a button here that says install. This is a two-step process and it's very quick. This is the NDA board. We have columns that represent different pieces of information that need to go into each NDA. For example, the signatory from our side, the counterparty signatory, the date, and so on. I've also added a button column to allow me to generate documents easily by clicking on it. I'll move it to the extreme right corner. I will also add a files column that will allow me to store the documents that are generated. The first step is to add a DocuGen view. I can call the view anything I want. I'll call it NDA for now. I will go to the settings and under document delivery, I will tell DocuGen to deliver the generated documents to the files column I created earlier. I can also receive them by email as an attachment, but I won't. For the document format, I'll need to specify a template. You can easily get templates from our DocuGen support website www.support.docigen.io. When you go there, you can search for template gallery, which contains multiple templates. One of them is the NDA template. This is the template I downloaded from the support website. It's a simple Word document that contains placeholders that tell DocuGen which information to pull from the board and where to insert it in the document. You can find out everything about placeholders on our support website. If you go to the placeholders article, you will have a list of all the placeholders that DocuGen offers. Some of them allow you to retrieve items from your board and insert them as tables in your document. Others allow you to retrieve sub items and more uh, placeholders allow you also to retrieve specific values from specific columns. Back on my DocuGen view, I will upload the template to the settings. I will also tell DocuGen to generate a PDF document and not a Word document. I now need to set up the integration that will allow me to generate a document by clicking a button here. I will click Integrate. I'll search for DocuGen integration recipes. And we provide three integration recipes. One, generating document based on a button click or a status change or on a specific date. I'll choose the one with the button. The integration recipe is very simple and requires just two parameters. First of all, which button column will generate the document? And second, which document view to use to create the document? And that's it. Let's review what we've done one more time. We've added a button column and a files column. We've added a document view called NDA. We've uploaded the template to that view. And then we created an integration recipe that will trigger when this button is clicked. Let's try it out. Fantastic.